to my family members who originally told me we were going to ride out the storm in their summer house upstate New York where it's completely sealed away from people and the virus, uh, but instead decided to not respond to my text and just ditched me and, and left me here to die like an animal. I have this to say. I hope that you are mauled by a rabid raccoon that has coronavirus. Welcome to Morning Reflections. I am your host, The Fat Mantis. That's right. I am kidding, of course. I kid, I kid. It's not that serious. So what if you left me down here and you stopped responding to my texts, although you clearly read them, um, and then you just ditched me and then you left me here to die like an animal. It's all, it's all good. No hard feelings whatsoever. We're going to focus on the good, and the good is that it's my birthday. It actually isn't my birthday. My birthday is on Wednesday. Uh, you know, that's Earth Day for you hippies out there, but I like to celebrate for the entire week, so I'm about to get into gear. How I'm going to celebrate, I really don't know how I'm going to do this during, during the quarantine, but um, it is what it is. And also, for all of those people who want to send me a gift, I'm going to have a P.O. box at the end of this. You just wrap up a present or whatever, or, you know, maybe you want to order. I'm sure you have a lot of disposable income right now. Just send it on over. Um, uh, you know, I'll, I'm accepting anything, you know, fan art, whatever you guys want. Um, it's all good. It's all good. And I accept cash as well. Uh, but, you know, it's actually a funny thing. Every year I get myself a present. Of course, you should always always vote for yourself and always get yourself a birthday or a Christmas present. Because, you know, who else is going to get you what you want other than yourself? Um, so I ended up ordering uh, this right here. Uh, you know, it's a comic series, Superbia by Grace Randolph. And they, you know, Amazon, because it's rare, you, they, you know, you get it from different booksellers, not actually the main Amazon. And so far, you know, I did it a couple weeks ago and I got volume two and volume three and volume four. Um, and I, you know, I looked online and I'm like, when, when is volume one coming? Um, and they you know, they claim it's going to be Tuesday, but the whole Corona delivery thing is going on. So, um, and I'm like, you better not disappoint me on my birthday. You better not disappoint me on my birthday or I will sick my raccoons on you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course. But unfortunately, yeah, um, I, you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, I feel like it's very ironic that I have all these pages, but I don't have like the most important pages, which is the, you know, the beginning of them. And I feel like this is like a metaphor for something, uh, you know, I, I can't seem to figure it out what it, what it's a metaphor for or something, but I'm sure it's a metaphor for something not good. So um, I'm just going to ignore that right now. <laughs> But now I'm going to hand the mic over to Outside Roy. Because Outside Roy is a man you can trust. While Inside Roy is just an unreliable narrator. Now before this episode gets any sillier, I actually want to take a, a moment to be a little reflective and, and just be a little more serious. Um, so I was in the uh, comment section of a video the other day. And this girl had said, that she was having trouble sleeping because she gets angry, right? That she, you know, she gets angry and, and bottles up and, uh, or something like, you know, disrupts her sleep. And I had noticed that in another one, like a Star Wars related one, she had said, I don't think I could ever be a Jedi because I have that anger in me. So I had spotted that like, you know, pattern going on there. And what, you know, ultimately what you usually want to do is you want to say something nice or sweet or serious. However, in that kind of format, you don't. It's a comment section. You make jokes. Everyone's happy. Keep it, you know, keep it light. Um, but you know, I probably made a joke or I disregarded. I don't recall what, what I said. Um, but I, I, you know, what I want, wanted to say was that it is okay to be angry. And one can interpret that as it's okay to be angry at me, and it is okay to be angry at me, con considering, but I I'm really meaning that it is okay to be angry in general. And, of course, someone's going to be like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, man. But honestly, a lot of people don't know that. Because in this world, uh, you know, any negative emotion that you show, any type of negative emotion, it is immediately fought against. People immediately have take issue with it, tell you that it's bad, teach you to bottle it up, shove it down, or redirect it in harmful, bad ways. Sometimes it becomes harmful to ourselves. And 
that that kind of attitude, that general attitude in society is not cool because it is absolutely okay to be angry. And you know, if you want to get about anger, I you know, when I was younger, when I was a young man, when you when you're in your 20s, you're angry. In your early 20s, all men are angry. I don't care if you're this guy or if you're this guy. You've got anger. <laughs> I promise you that. Absolutely. Um, you know, some, sometimes you get, you find ways to deal with it or get, or get over it. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into my own personal thing, but, um, uh, you know, I just, I think it should be said that everyone needs to know that it's okay to be angry. And there's a lot of these things, these emotions that people are scared of. We have these, uh, not vices, but what, you know, you know, just these, you know, these qualities that people don't like and uh, that we all have them. So some people are prideful and some people are greedy and some people are angry and some people are lustful. And it is actually completely, absolutely normal for every human to experience that. To be honest, every human does. And some have a particular one that rules over them. And what is actually negative is when we allow these things to hurt others or hurt ourselves. Like for instance, greed can push you to be the greatest businessman or succeed in life, but it can also lead you to cut off your friends or family or do, you know, do, do, yeah, you can go down a bad road doing it. Um, and anger is absolutely no difference. Um, so I, you know, I want you to know that it, it is absolutely okay for all of you out there who uh, you have anger issues and you probably feel guilty that you're angry. That is a very common thing to feel guilty that you're like, oh man, I feel angry. I must be a bad person. You're not a bad person. You're a person person. You know, if you really want to get down to it on a biblical biblical sense, you know, even Jesus got angry in the Bible. There's recordings of him getting angry because everyone could get angry. Um, and, and what it is, we need to find a way to channel it. Well, you know, I, you know to, to this person, I, I really wish I could teach her martial arts. Obviously, that's not going to happen. <laughs> also, considering we've never met in the real world, but... Uh, you know, to anyone who wants to deal with anger, it's actually a good way to release it. And I, you don't need to know all the tricky stuff or takedowns. What I'm really referring to is like working the bag. There is no better therapy. Maybe there's some better therapy. <laughs> like, yeah. But there's no, you know, for a quick way to get rid of some anger is working the bag. You work, uh, work the bag, hit it, kick it, whatever. Know how to punch and kick. Before you do that, don't just start wailing or something. Because you can actually hurt yourself. But... Uh, it's a great way to just release it. Another one is screaming, but that can actually hurt your voice. Um, but, you know, there should be something that you release that anger out in. Um, and it's not going to cure you. You know, there's no cure for the human condition. Straight up, girl. But um, it could help. It certainly could help your sleep. So for all of you, man, um, I feel you, man. I feel you. You know, I got my own issues. Some could say I'm vain. But anyway, moving on. I want to move on to the next topic, which is, I wish to defend the handshake. So of course we have to stop the handshake because it's, you know, it's quarantine time. During the age of Corona, I do not want you putting your hands anywhere near me, bro ham. Get it out my face. But people are saying we should get rid of it all the time and a lot of cancel culture people are saying it's because it's sexist and it's used to dominate or intimidate and it's primitive and it, it offends germaphobes and all these things. And you know, I feel like this is one of those times that as men, we are being blamed for something like, I like the handshake. Um, and you know, you don't actually hear this a lot, but it's, it's really tough being a man, you know, like, like when I'm in stores and stuff, Short people are always asking me to get something from a, from a high shelf. And it's like all day with this, man. If that is rough. Or like when I'm in the presence of a woman, they assume that I make more money than them. And I look them in the eye and I'm like, nope. <laughs> that is definitely not true. Um, you know, or, you know, you know, you're, you're, you're always expect to have a better deadlift than a woman. I mean, it's rough, man. It is rough out here for us guys. <laughs> that is my morning reflections. Um, I hope I did something for you today. I, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful quarantine and corona life, man. Stay safe. Stay inside. Please don't protest. I'm not trying to judge anybody for the political values, but don't go out and protest. Stay home. Don't be a knucklehead. Just be safe. 
love each other. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember to keep tuning in to Voice of the Fat Mantis for more reviews, more social commentary, and just more fun and games. And also, don't forget to check out the P.O. Box in the last screen because I'm expecting some gifts on Wednesday. Ciao for now.